Okay, so now we are dealing with the uh, next uh, piece of probability, which is uh, independent events. It's further in probability. It's ten point eight in your. Um, it's ten point eight in your in your uh, book, and it pertains to uh, test number three. So this is not material for test number two. It is material for test number three. But the, the videos are being made now and being made accessible to you as well. Okay, so up for my pencil. And we will put the title up there, which is Independent Events. That's what needs to go upstairs right now. So let me get my piece of paper adjusted. I want to make sure that I get every piece of every bit of it. Um, and our title is independent events. Independent events. And this is just part of it, 10.8, because eventually it's going to talk about events that are not independent. But we're starting out with that. So problem number one. Here's the experiment. The experiment is that we're going to roll one die, roll one die on the table. Then afterwards, just to make it clear, afterwards we toss or fit, we toss one coin, or flip one coin, or toss one coin. One coin on table. Okay, so now, we, these are totally independent events because rolling one die will not affect rolling one about what happens to the coin, and vice versa. The coin will not affect the die. They have nothing to each, do, do with each other, but particularly, what happens first with the die is not, affect, is not going to affect what happens with the coin. Nothing whatsoever. So these are, these, these are appropriately titled independent events. Okay, so now let's set up, um, we want to know, let's call, call event A. We want to call event A. Let's break this down. Event A will be roll one die. So we'll, get an, we'll give it a name. We'll give it a name, event A. Event B will be toss one coin. So we'll give tossing one coin a name, that event. One coin. Okay. Now, here comes the question. We set up, this is not a, this is scrap paper work, so we're really unusually doing something unusual. We're setting up how to look at this before I even ask you the question. Here's the question. Right, so here's the question. Here's the here's the given. Right here, what the experiment is. Right here is the ex given, and here is the question. And in between, we put uh, some scrap paper work, identifying what we're doing here. Okay, so the question is, what is the probability? What is probability? of getting, meaning after you do this experiment, of getting a four with the die, obviously, getting a four, and, and, and getting a heads. And after doing the getting your four, getting heads with the coin. Getting heads. Okay, so here's the formula that will work for you for independent events. Independent events, the formula. The formula is as, fo is as follows. The, the probability of A and B. A and B, right? Probability of getting a four, getting a four, that's A. right, with event A, 
and the <coughs> and the and the probability of b. Wait, so one's so the uh, what I meant to say is really roll one die and getting a four. And getting a four, and tossing a coin, and getting heads. So what is the probability of getting a four and getting heads? So getting a four is a. Getting heads is b, and we want the form and and we want the probability of getting a and b, both of these things happening. So the formula is take the probability of a happening, and multiply it times the probability of b happening. Okay, why is this formula true? This is the formula because this is the proper this is the proper formula because these are this is the right formula because these are these two events because these two events are independent of each other are independent Okay, so the independent means, again, I need some, I need the paper, I need every piece of the paper that I can get my hands on. So here we go. Um, okay, so let me ta explain to you what independent means. It, independent means, independent means, independent means independent means the picking the happening of the happening of one event of the first event The first event has no effect, has no effect on the second event, on the second event. Okay, so now the answer to the question. The answer to the question, what question, right over here, what is the probability of getting a 4 and an H? Here's the formula. So, the probability of A and B equals the equals 1 sixth, which is the probability of getting a 4. The probability of getting a 4 is 1 out of 6. The probability B is of getting heads is 1 half. And what do I put in between the two? Multiplication. And therefore, the answer is 1 twelfth. Here is the answer. So that's the opening piece of 12.8 independent events. That finishes this uh, video, this first video, but there's more on this subject 10.8, 10 10 and there's more that we have to discuss further about probability. So we end this video for the moment, but the topic isn't completely over.